In the previous chapter, there was a proof we didn't do. We're going to do it now. Uh, remember when we looked at the stability of the finite difference method in dimension one for the Laplace operator, or basically the second derivative? Uh, well, we, we had to prove that this matrix was such that the inverse of the matrix in norm infinity was smaller than one eighth. And I said, well, you know, we're going to, to do that later. Now is the time we're going to do it. So let's prove it this way. First, I'm going to denote uh, by AH inverse uh, IJ the component of the matrix AH inverse at the line I and the column J. Now, what I will say is that the norm infinity of this, this, this matrix, the inverse of this matrix, is given by this formula as we've just seen in the previous video. Now, what we know is that AH is monotone, which means that AH inverse is non-negative. In other words, all of its components are non-negative. So this is why I drop the absolute values in my sum. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is to multiply every element of the matrix uh, by one. And obviously, when you multiply by one, uh, you know, no one is going to, to, to be upset about doing so. And some people might say, what, what, you know, why are we doing it? But no one is going to complain that we've done it. So I'm going to multiply every single element by one. And one, actually, I'm going to call it uh, gj. I'm going to define a vector uh, with basically just a column of ones. And so I'm saying that we have this equality. So far, uh, no one can really uh, contest such, a, such an equality. Now, what I'm going to say is, so I'm keeping this, this equality here just, just so we have, just so we keep saying it. It doesn't go away. Uh, now, consider the equation a minus u second equals 1 with a Dirichlet and Banach conditions uh, u of 0 equals u of 1 equals 0. Well, this uh, differential equation can be really solved easily. We look for solutions as polynomials of degree 2. Obviously, when we take the entire derivative of the entire derivative of a constant, this is a good place to, to look. Uh, and obviously, it's easy to check to verify that uh, one half of minus x squared plus x is a solution. As a matter of fact, um, we, we, we tried that very equation earlier uh, to when we, when we did numerical methods to verify that we did not make a mistake. So we, we actually already know that this is a solution. Okay, now this being said, uh, if I look at the function, which is always equal to 1, at any point xi of the grid that I considered last week, then what I will have is that 1 of xi is equal to uh, gi. Uh, so what we have is that the matrix AH applied to W uh, will be g, uh, that is the discretization of minus u second equals 1. Now, what I'm saying is that uh, since u is a second degree polynomial, then the finite difference for the second derivative will actually be equal to that formula. And if you remember, when you, we use the Taylor expansion, uh, we actually saw that we have a fourth derivatives, uh, derivative that, that, that shows up. So if you have a second degree polynomial, or even a third degree polynomial, then obviously that term will be equal to zero. So that's why we actually have an equality. It's not an approximation, it's really an equality. Now, it follows that wi will be u of xi. Now, since uh, AHW is G, we will have the W is AH inverse applied to G. Let me actually highlight what we have here. We have four things that are quite interesting. First, a formula that gives me the norm infinity of AH inverse. Second, we have a function U uh, that is perfectly defined, that gives me uh, numbers WI, and we have that W is AH inverse of uh, G. Okay, uh, so let's actually just keep only what's highlighted. And let's uh, realize what we have here. We have that uh, W equals AH inverse G tells me that that sum here of, for, 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 for small j equals 1 to capital J of AH inverse 
uh, ij multiplied by 1, by gj, is equal to wi. Okay, but uh, if I have this and just above, I have the wi is u of xi. So really, here is what I have. Okay, so let's put this uh, just uh, in nice form. I have u of x, which is one half of minus x squared plus x. Okay, let's put this in. Then I have a h uh, inverse infinity, which is the maximum of the u x i. Oh, well, at this point, I think that we can figure out what is this maximum, can't we? I mean, we have a, a, a polynomial of degree 2, uh, which reaches its maximum at 1 half, and the maximum is 1 half. So, what we have is that the norm infinity of AH uh, inverse is smaller than 1 eighth.